everybody, Jim T. Graham with rcgroups.com, and today we're in the studio looking at the Dromeda Ominous. This is the FPV version of the Dromeda Ominous. Now, if you saw my previous review and video, I was really surprised at how well this thing flew indoors and out, how much abuse it could actually take flying into walls and picnic tables and things like that. And so when I saw that they came out with an FPV version, I had to check it out. You'll note that there's a camera underneath there's a micro SD slot. This talks wirelessly to your iPhone or Android and allows you to use your phone as a screen. So what I thought we would do in this video is just take a closer look at what you get, how to put it together, and how to get going and successfully fly the Ominous FPV. So let's take a look at the Ominous FPV up close. Of course, the primary difference and feature is the camera, Hydrometa. There is a micro SD card slot in the side. It's held on with this foam and it does take most of the jello out. It doesn't take all of the jello out. Of course, it's not like having a uh, gimbal or something down there. Um, the lens works for me and you'll see in my uh, iPhone how the uh, view looks from the lens. They have a uh, one cell, 3.7, 700 milliamp, uh, lipo that comes with it and I went ahead and ordered more these are actually from the previous version they both this one's a little shorter there's two different sizes it doesn't seem to matter which one you use and that just slides up in here when you put that in make sure your flap is not in front of your lens your lens has a nice downward angle which is great when you're flying something you need JST connectors uh, when you do connect this you want to connect it on a flat surface and so let's just connect it and get everything running. Before we do that though, let's talk about the transmitter and the holder for your phone. So this is your standard transmitter. You know, it's plastic. It's a little larger than some and it works fine for me. I've had issues with uh, little candy bar transmitters in the past where the controls just it didn't feel right, maybe because I'm used to a uh, big transmitter, a real transmitter, but this works great for me. It has trims. You can actually fly the Dromeda off the trims if you're shooting video and you want to keep it nice and smooth. And um, so this is working 2.4. And then here's the piece that is interesting. This is going to hold your phone. And then there is a shield for your phone for sunlight. So... I always get confused which way this goes. Goes like this. So that snaps in like that. That goes there. And then your phone. And be careful, don't drop it. Pops right in and make sure you're popped in and locked in. You gotta pop and lock. There's little adjustments that you can make. And then this mounts on your antenna. You'll note that there's a little keyed piece. If you look closely at your own, you'll see there's a slot here. That's important because if you don't get that on the corresponding keyed piece on this antenna, this thing will just flop upside down. So then we'll tighten this up right here, making sure that the keyed piece is in the little slot. And then this arm adjusts to wherever you want it and then of course you have your little shields to keep your sun off your screen and that is your unit so before we go any farther let's talk about the application so i'm going to jump out of the app here it's called fpv cam download it from the apple store there's a link on the drama to site and this allows you to uh, add some settings look at your pictures that you've shot Get a little less glare on here and um record video now there's an interesting part let's jump out of this it's an interesting part to how you record video it's very intuitive and very simple there's a button here this is record video there's a button here this is stop video so as you're flying when you think hey I, I should record this you can simply run it from here if you're recording video and you want to take a photo you can push your record button one more time it won't stop anything it'll take a photo and when you do that it'll actually pop up uh, PIP and show you the photo that you just took on the screen. Very cool. Let's talk about how to connect your Ominous FPV to your app. The first thing you want to do is turn on your transmitter. 
and this green light indicates that. So you turn that on first, and you take your ominous, and you put it on flat ground and plug in your JST connector. And light in the back is going to notify you that it's broadcasting. So it's now sending a wireless signal out. And what you want to do is go into the settings on your phone and find it. And I am, I believe I'm Jim T. Yellow. Oh, there it is. It popped up. So you want to click that and connect to your wireless network for Jim T. FPV Jim Yellow. Check, it's hot. So now we're going to go to the app that you can download off the iTunes store. It's called FPV Cam. There's a link to it from the Dramatis site. Okay, so that was a frozen signal. If you ever have an issue, which I have, you want to back out of the app and turn it off. So here's the app. I'm going to get rid of it. Go back in and I'm going to reopen my app. So this should now be talking, and I'm going to click here to see if I can see my on-screen display. So now you know your camera is talking to your phone. Okay, so here's our micro SD card. It comes with one, which is awesome because you can never have enough. You can also put this into an existing micro SD card and use it in other devices. And I'll talk about how to get this into your computer in just a second. So there it is in the slot. Oops. Make sure you get it in right. Looks like the text up works. So now it is ready to record. And so let's take a look at our screen. So when I push record, you should see a record in a red dot in the left corner, which you see. Now, if you wanted to take a photo, you would press record again and you'll see the picture. There we go. Oh, there it is. So it shows you the photo that it shot in this area right here. So I'm going to point this up, hit it again. And there's the photo that you shot. Awesome. And then all you have to do to turn it off, once again, is click this button on the left hand side and recording stop and your light has turned off and everything's cool so i have found that the best way to get the videos off the uh, unit is just to pull that sd card out and load it up on your comp so i'm going to pop this out and this comes with this micro sd piece which i had not seen one of these like this there's a little slot right there and your SD card goes right in it, like that. And then you just plug that into your computer. So it goes in just like that. And then you can get everything off that card, erase it, and get it ready for your next big fun. So um, while we're here, we'll talk about a couple of more things. It comes with blades. I have to say, I have whacked, I've probably been through three of these. Uh, testing and doing things and I have yet to blow a blade I'm sure it happens if you get uh, ambitious comes with some extra screws comes with an extra mounting double stick foam pad of course you get your lipo battery buy more if you're in love with this thing and then it also has a lipo charger this but i have a jst plug on my charger here in the shop so i charge it that way i don't use these but if you wanted to buy this and you had nothing else and you wanted to try this you'd be good to go all you'd need would be your android iphone or whatever device and then one more thing before we get out of here and here's what i'm about to do i'm going to cut to some video that i shot i took it out to the field and we were test flying some airplanes and um, jason was out with this discus launch glider and i i flew to see how far i could go and i'll show you that footage and show you how far i got in the field uh, wirelessly to this unit and uh, i'll do a little map and show you how far away it went and then on the way back, Jason was uh, launching his discus launch glider, and I started shooting footage of that. So I'll let you see that as well. There's some test footage. Uh, the only thing I haven't talked about is the flip button and the flight mode. And those are located on buttons here and here.
Flight mode, uh, when you start it out, it's going to be in a very docile flight mode, which I find when you're shooting video is a way to go. The other one uh, uh, responds more. And then the flip mode, um, this confused me at first. I, of course, read the instructions after I was confused. But you press the flip button, and then if you want to do a flip, it doesn't flip immediately when you press the button. You press it, and then that sets it. And then when you want to do a flip, and I'm not going to do this because the ominous is tr plugged in, but you pull the stick back, and it'll do a back flip push it forward it'll do a forward flip right right flip left left flip so now we've cut to a photo it's an overhead shot of our field here in Nashville and just for scale the upper left hand corner is a two-lane road and the large V square area there is our paved runway and below the upper right hand or the middle right hand circle you'll see a square that's actually a gazebo that we fly from and so I got the Dramata FPV going, I got the wireless connected to my iPhone, I took off from underneath the gazebo, and the goal was to see how far I could fly before I dropped my wireless signal. And no obstructions, I made it all the way out to 591 feet. And I was a little blown away, and Jason was too, he said that his little FP, he has a micro FPV 5.8 uh, quad. And he said that he wouldn't have taken his that far out. And that's exactly the moment that I realized the signal was lost. And what it did was it froze. I uh, started to slowly descend and just brought the FPV ominous to the ground. No damage, of course. And walked out and got it. So that kind of gives you an idea of how far out you can go. And I will say I still had control over the unit itself that far out. So as I was walking back to the gazebo after doing my range test, I saw Jason was out with this discus launch glider, and I thought, well, this would be an awesome way to use this little quad. You know, it's so small that you can get in close. It's not threatening in any way. The blades stop when they uh, touch something. So if you're to hit a tree or a branch or uh, whatever, the blades stop turning. And, uh, you know, don't fly into people, of course, but... For this distance and this type of uh, outdoor flying, I thought this is perfect. So my goal was to get a catch of him catching the discus launch glider. So here it comes, and it'll fly over to the right. Nice sky view of DLG. Pretty awesome use, I think, of the ominous FPV. So I'm going to throw a picture up and do my conclusion and just recap what we've gone over. So in conclusion, there's a lot of things I do like about the setup. First of all, just the uh, Dramata Ominous itself is a great, robust platform. I love the size. It definitely is a backyard flyer, an indoor flyer. It can take multiple hits, and you get spare blades if you ever need them. Um, even if you wore one of these out, I mean, just flew the teeth off of it, it's not so costly that you wouldn't mind buying another one when the time came. But we have flown the teeth off of ours, that's for sure. On the FPV side, I like the camera. Of course, this isn't a $1,000 FPV unit with a uh, awesome gimbal and high-def camera on it. You'll have to pay over $1,000 to get something like that, or, you know, in the range. But for the amount of money that you're paying here, you're getting a fun quad that you can fly inside and out. It takes wind. And then throw on the additional camera with the micro SD card, and this is something that I can throw in my suitcase and take to Mexico and fly on the beach and not really worry about it possibly flying away. Or uh, even if it landed in the ocean, you know, it's not a huge loss. You can get yourself another one. So I really am a big fan. The only thing I wish it had was the ability to port out to my goggles. But then you're talking 5.8. That's a whole different animal. But other than that, man, it's awesome. I like the way it talks to the phone. I like the way it takes pictures. And as you saw with the discus launch video that I showed just a second ago, um, you can drag this to the field and get yourself some interesting shots from perspectives of things you're doing. Just totally... Uh, very little prep. Just go out there, get it in the air, hit the button, and you might have yourself some nice footage that you can drop into whatever you're doing. So I love it. 
If you're a beginner or you know someone who's trying to get into this, this is a great entry-level FPV. Take away the FPV, it's a great entry-level quad. And for the price, you can't beat it. The Dromeda Ominous FPV. I hope this has helped. I hope if you have one, it's going to help you get set up and get in the air. And the only thing left to do now, I think, is to go out and have some fun with your unit. I'm Jim T. Graham with rcgroups.com. I hope this has been helpful. Have a great day.